Welcome to 10th lecture on terpenes and terpenoids. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the chemistry of phytol molecule. Phytol molecule belong to a class of diterpenoid. In diterpenoid series, we are going to discuss the three molecules. First one is a phytol, second one is a abetic acid and third one is a vitamin A. So first of all, let us discuss about the phytol molecule. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the structure of phytol on the basis of chemical methods of analysis. Then we will discuss the synthesis of phytol from parnesol molecule. Phytol is an acyclic diterpenoid. It means that there are four isoprene units joined through head to tail linkage. Phytol is found to be a substructural unit of various biologically active molecules like chlorophyll, vitamin E as well as vitamin K1. In chlorophyll molecule, this phytol structure is highlighted here in the form of box Similarly, here in vitamin E, we are having here 20 number of carbon atoms as a side chain. And in vitamin K1, this portion is again a part of the phytol chain. Now, this phytol molecule contains a two chiral center as shown here. And these two, because of the presence of these two chiral center, it is optically active compound. Now, let us discuss the structure of phytol on the basis of chemical methods of analysis. Elemental analysis has shown that the molecular formula of the phytol is C20H40O. Now from this molecular formula, we get a lot of information about the structure of phytol molecule. Now since it contains 20 number of carbon atoms, it means that phytol molecule contains 4 isoprene units. And according to the special isoprene, unit, isoprene rule, these 4 isoprene units may be connected through head to tail. Now since it contains 4 isoprene units, it belongs to a class of diterpenide. Now, apart from this general information about the structure of this phytol molecule, additional information we also get from this molecular formula that is nothing but the degree of unsaturations or the double bond equivalence. Double bond equivalence or a degree of unsaturation is related to how many double bond or how many rings is present in phytol molecule. Now, for a molecule CxHyOZ, the double bond equivalence is calculated by the formula x plus 1 minus y by 2. So if you keep the values of carbon and hydrogen here, the degree of unsaturation is found to be 1. Now phytol shows 1 degree of unsaturation. It means that the phytol molecule may contain 1 double bond or it may be a monocyclic molecule. So we have to prove the nature of this 1 degree of unsaturations and for that a simple experiment is performed. Hydrogenations of phytol is performed in presence of certain catalyst. When hydrogenation is performed, it is found that uh, it forms dihydrophytol and its molecular formula is C20H42O. So if you subtract the molecular formula of the phytol from the dihydrophytol, it is observed that only one molecule of hydrogen is consumed by phytol and therefore uh, this so there, therefore it concludes that phytol molecule contains one carbon-carbon double bond. So one degree of unsaturations in phytol molecule corresponds to the presence of one double bond here. Now let us find out the nature of oxygen in phytol molecule. We have already proved the presence of one double bond here and it corresponds to one degree of unsaturation. Now let us find the nature of oxygen. Now when phytol is treated with acetic anhydride, it forms a monoacetic derivative. Formations of monoacetic derivative clearly indicates that phytol molecule is an alcohol. Now alcohol is of three types, a primary alcohol, secondary alcohol and a tertiary alcohol and nature of this alcohol can be proved on the basis of oxidation experiment. So when phytol is subjected to oxidation with CrO3, it forms a carboxylic acid with the same number of carbon atom. Now the formations of carboxylic acid with the same number of carbon atom, it means that the phytol molecule is a primary alcohol. Thus the nature of oxygen in phytol is proved to be oxygen. Now, let us make some chemical arithmetic. Here, the hydrogenation product of the phytol is C20H42 and corresponding to this C20H42, we are having a general formula. The parent hydrocarbon of this hydrogenated phytol is C20H42. Now, C20H42 corresponds to the formula CnH2N plus 2 and CnH2N plus 2, it means that the phytol molecule is, a, is an acyclic molecule. CnH2N plus 2 corresponds to the acyclic saturated hydrocarbon and since the hydrogenated form of the phytol is having 
C20H42, it corresponds to CNS10 plus 2. So on the basis of this simple chemical arithmetic, we prove that phytol is an acyclic molecule with the presence of one primary with the presence of primary alcohol functional group. And this uh, and this apart from that, we also proved that it contains one double bond. So this molecule is not very much complicated as far as the uh, functional groups are concerned. It contains one double bond as well as a primary alcohol. Now let us find out the positions of this functional group double bond where it is present in phytol molecule and where is the positions of primary alcohol. So if you get this positions of functional group we can reach to the structures of phytol very easily. So for this ozonolysis experiment is performed. When phytol is subjected to ozonolysis the two products are formed here because only one double bond is present. One of the product is a glycoaldehyde. There are 20 number of carbon atoms and out of 20 carbon, 2 carbon correspond to the glycoaldehyde. And the remaining 18 carbon atoms is related to a compound C18H36O. The analysis of this compound has shown that it is a ketonic in nature and moreover it is saturated in nature. And this saturated ketone is treated with the sodium hypobromide. It undergoes a bromoform reactions. To form bromoform as well as a carboxylic acid. The formations of bromoform clearly indicates that this saturated ketone is a methyl ketone and it is found to be the saturated one. So on the basis of uh, isoprene rule, here the isoprene rule is a very important rule because there are 20 number of carbon atoms, there are 4 isoprene in it and they are likely to be joined to the head to tail linkage. Now out of 428, 2 are going as a part of glycolidate. So if you apply here the isoprene rule applied uh, isoprene rule to the saturated ketone then one can write a tentative structure of the uh, st structure of the saturated ketone like this shown here. It's a methyl ketone we have written because it forms it undergo a bromoform reactions and here head to tail linkage is observed here. So isoprene rule has given us an understanding about the structure of this saturated ketone and this saturated ketone is formed during the ozonolysis along with the glycolidate. So this C double bond O is if it is connected to C double bond C H C S 2 O H then one can write the structures of the phytol molecule. So ozonolysis experiment is a turning point of investigation as far as the structures of the phytol is concerned. Since we reach to the structures of the saturated ketone in this way one can write the structures of the phytol molecule here. So with the help of simple experiments, we reach to the structures of the phytol molecule. This structure contains 20 number of carbon atom. It contains 4 isoprene units. 4 isoprene units are joined through head to tail linkage. It contains 1 double bond. It is proved from hydrogenation. Then ozonolysis gives us a methyl ketone. It is shown here. And the OH groups forms here monoacetate derivative as well as on oxidation it gives a carboxylic acid. So on the basis of simple um, simple experiments like hydrogenation, reactions with the acetic anhydride, oxidation, all of them uh, we have reached to the structures of the phytol molecule. The turning point of investigation is the ozonolysis of phytol to form a saturated ketone and the glycolate. And saturated ketone in turn again go to the oxidation in presence of sodium hypobromide to form the corresponding acid. So we have reached to the structures of phytol on the basis of chemical methods of analysis. Now let us discuss the synthesis of phytol. The laboratory synthesis of phytol is another evidence regarding the structures of a molecule. Phytol molecule contains 20 number of carbon atoms. So synthesis of this molecule in the laboratory is accomplished from a farnesol molecule. Farnesol molecule is selected is a 15 number of carbon atom. It is available chemical. So the maximum complexity of the phytol molecule is accommodated in the starting metal in the form of farnesol. So 15 number of carbon atom if we start with this then we have to only work on remaining 5 carbon atoms. And remaining 5 carbon atoms uh, can be employed here by taking the advantage of this allylic alcohol reactivity. So this 5 number of carbon atoms is coming from ethyl acetoacetate. Ethyl acetoacetate will offer 3 number of carbon atom. And the two number of carbon atoms will be provided by acetylene. And in this way, the carbon-carbon bond at two stages, we will have carbon-carbon bond to form this phytol molecule. So let us start for the synthesis of phytol with this background. Farnesol is subjected to the hydrogenation and we get a completely per hydro, we get a uh, hexahydrofarnesol. This hexahydrofarnesol uh, 
is treated with PPR3 and we get a bromination of this alcohol. This is a primary bromide and this uh, in presence of sodium acetate, ethyl acetoacetate from sodio-ethyl acetoacetate which is nucleophilic in nature. So the base catalyzed alkylations of ethyl acetoacetate is observed and we get here one carbon-carbon bond forming reactions. So in this way we have reached to the now total 18 number of carbon atoms. 15 is provided by farnesol and 3 carbon atom is provided by ethyl acetoacetate. This ester group is we do not require it. So we perform the ketonic hydrolysis in presence of KOH and dilute SCL. Sorry, dilute KOH followed by acid hydrolysis. Acidic workup, it gives a methyl ketone. Now this methyl ketone is treated with the alkyne in presence of sodamide and we get a tertiary propargyl alcohol. Tertiary propargyl alcohol is partially reduced in presence of H2 palladium to get the tertiary allylic alcohol. And this tertiary allylic alcohol undergo allylic rearrangement in presence of acetic anhydride to form the phytol molecule. So in this way, we have reached to the structures of the phytol molecule just by using simple starting material like farnesol molecule, ethyl acetoacetate as well as the acetyl molecule. Now in this rearrangement, in this uh, phytol synthesis, the last step of the reaction is allylic rearrangement. That's the allylic uh, tertiary alcohol undergo rearrangement to get the allylic alcohol. Phytol is a allylic alcohol, allylic primary alcohol. Similarly, the geraniol is also primary allyl alcohol. Farnesol is a primary allyl alcohol. Now, in case of neroli dole to farnesol, we have seen similar kind of the allylic rearrangement. In linalool, again, a tertiary allylic alcohol undergo allylic rearrangement to form the geraniol. Similar things happen here. So, if you keep these three reactions together, we find that Allylic rearrangement is a very common reaction in the chemistry of terpenoid molecules. Now, we have completed the synthesis of terpenoid as well as the structural resolution. Now, once again, let us see the isoprene rule, which is a very important in understanding the structure of this entire molecule. It's a saturated molecule with a very less number of functional groups. So, here there are four isoprene units and therefore it belongs to a class of diterpenoid. According to the special isoprene rule, these isoprene rules are joined through head to tail linkage. And here indeed in Farnesol, it is very beautiful to watch the connections of these four isoprene units to head to tail linkage. Again, the structure of Farnesol, uh, sorry, the structure of the phytol was, was easy because we have got this saturated hydrocarbon. And in that case, again, isoprene rule has made us easy to uh, make its structure tentatively in this way. Now this last slide is related to related to the hydrolysis of chlorophyll. We have seen that the uh, phytol molecule is a substructural unit of chlorophyll, vitamin K as well as vitamin E1. Now in chlorophyll molecule, we see here there is a side chain. And now if the chlorophyll molecule is subjected to hydrolysis in presence of KOH, we get the synthesis of phytol molecule. The naturally occurring phytol molecule contains the two chiral centers here that is number 7 and 11 and their con absolute configuration according to the CIP method is R configuration as well as R, R configurations. About this double bond we are having a E configuration this CS2OH is trans to this remaining these are having more priority compared to this methyl and hydrogen and it is having a E configurations at the two positions. So in this way, we have learned the phytol molecule. It is very easy molecule compared to compared to rest of the class of terpenoids. Now, once this preparation, once this discussion is completed, now it's time to talk about how much we have progressed in understanding the chemistry of phytol. So for this, we should undertake certain problems. And here are some of the problems we have listed. So the first problem is write the structures of the phytol, identifies class and sketch the mode of additions of isoprene. So once again, this problem is related to the revisions of the isoprene rule. Then the hydrogenation of phytol gives the product with molecular formula. Calculate the hydrogen deficiency and hence the number of rings present in the molecule. This problem is related to the calculations of degree of unsaturations. Then this third problem, second problem is related to the chemical evidences. What is a phytol is a primary alcohol, positions of the double bond in phytol. This is, these are the structural features of the phytol. But the question is, what is the chemical evidence in support of these two? So students should write down the 
uh, that it's a primary alcohol it reacts with the acetic anhydride to form the monoacetate is oxidation gives us a carboxylic acid with the same number of carbon atom and positions of double bond is phytol is proved on the basis of ozonolysis experiment now the last problem is related to the synthesis of the phytol and here it is asked in a very interesting way uh, is farnesol to phytol we have to convert and in this sequence several reagents are involved these reagents are placed here in a random way and the student is asked to write the synthesis of phytol or is asked to arrange these reagents in appropriate sequence to get the synthesis of phytol and in that case students should write down the structures of intermediate also so this is a very interesting exercise and if you look at here uh, overall reagents from the reagents we get the nature here h2 palladium means reduction sodium ide is used for generations of carbon and from acetylene ppr3 is the conversion of os to the alcohol ethyl acetoacetate is for alkylations of the bromide and at sometimes where we require the hydrolysis of ester so this is a very interesting way of learning the natural product chemistry by solving number of problems so in this way we have completed the phytol molecule now in the next lecture we will discuss we are going to discuss about the remaining two molecules that's the abetic acid as well as vitamin a which belongs to a class of diterpenoid thank you very much for watching the video subscribe the video like the video and stay tuned with the chemistry thank you very much